open up the champagne. G'day guys. Today it's all about posture and the thoracic spine with the shoulder spine integrator. Let's have a look and see how it's done. Okay, so the setup for this one is you want to have something that aligns the, the head and the neck quite well. So a, a small pillow or half a foam roller like I've got in the video. So as I bring my hand towards me, I'm sliding that right hand along my body and then grabbing my face and I'm breathing in. As I return in the movement, my hand slides back across my hand and reaches past my hand on the floor and I breathe out. And I just repeat that process. The thing is with the thoracic spine, the, the, the thoracic, the higher up on your, your spine and the vertebra, the more rotation you have. But unfortunately from sitting a lot, you know, and um, crunching over and, you know, poor posture, that thoracic spine really gets limited in its rotation. So if golf or anything sort of really dynamic sport you're playing requires a lot of rotation, this can be a great exercise just to restore that or just simply to improve posture. A key point to make here is that you'll notice my hips are not moving. Like I'm consciously focusing on rotating into the upper back where I feel quite locked and the sections, the vertebras aren't really moving as optimally as I can. If the hip moves, usually if there's tightness in the upper back, there's hypermobility, you know, lower down. So we want to really lock that hip in and, and not rotate from the lower back, really rotate into the thoracic where we're mostly locked up. The last point that's worth noting is that it's there's no forcing, we're just using the breath and gently moving into end range. With high repetitions, you'll feel and notice a big change in your rotation.